Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here with a new video for you guys. Um, also, I'm using a new camera. So uh, from here on out, I think I'm going to be using this. This is actually the camera on my phone. Uh, I have a Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3 inch, I think it is. It's the bigger one of the Megas. Anyway, uh, the camera on this thing is actually pretty cool. So, uh, I'm doing just a cigar, uh, sort of like an update for you guys, just sort of showing you what's going on. Uh, I got some stuff in the background. This I got for Christmas. This is uh, the Cigar Caddy uh, Travel Humidor. So, pretty simple. I've used it once so far. It worked really good. So, I like it. Um, let's see, over here, this is a cigar cutter my wife got for me my uh, last birthday. There you go. Comes in a nice uh, leather pouch case. Anyway, I um, wanted to give you guys an update on the uh, cigar rating uh, and all. I have a separate video on my cigar rating system, so if you guys want to look at that, uh, check it out on my channel. It's probably, oh, I don't know, maybe a year or two years old by now. But uh, anyway, go over with you some of the cigars that I've smoked. Um, in case you're watching this, a uh, quick update, uh, the way it works is uh, a 5, like you see on that Romeo in Julieta Reserva Real, a 5 means that's the highest rating. A 5 means that I would, I really like that cigar and I would buy a box of that cigar. Um, if I wouldn't buy a box, then it doesn't get a 5. So it's got to be good enough for me to say, hey, yeah, I'd buy a box. Not that I'm going to buy a box, but just that I would buy a box. Um, okay, uh, so let's see. We have a CAO Brazil. That one I gave a two. Uh, let's see here. Well, let me go ahead and go over the numbers for you So as we go through. So like I said, five means I would buy a box. A four means that it was a really good cigar. I really liked it, and then I would buy it again. Um, but I would not buy a box of it. So I would buy the cigar again, or I'd buy it in a sampler, or I might even buy a five-pack of it, but I wouldn't buy a box of it. Um, I just really liked it and I would smoke it again. Um, uh, three means that I would not buy it again, but I would smoke it again. In other words, if uh, it came in a sampler pack and it just happened to be in there and I'm like, well, you know, I'll just, that's fine. I'll just smoke it anyway because it came in the pack. Or if uh, someone gave me it as a gift or anything like that. So a three is I would smoke it, but I wouldn't pay for it. Um, a two means that it wasn't for me. It's not that it was a bad cigar. It's that I just didn't like it. It didn't fit my taste or my preferences. Um, still a, a good or a well-made so-called cigar, but uh, just not my uh, just not my cup of tea, so to speak. And then a one means it sucked. It was uh, either constructed poorly or it was uh, it was just bad. It, it didn't have a draw. It had too tight of a draw. It fell apart. It cracked. It just. It just sucked. Uh, just a bad cigar. So uh, anyway, that's sort of my rating system, one through five, okay? So let's see. Go through here, show you guys some of what I've smoked. Some of them you'll see don't have ratings simply because uh, I smoked them before I even thought about rating. So um, like this one. And there you see I said... This was when I was first getting into cigars. Used regular lighter, ruined it, must retry. So, you know, you live and you learn. There's some fours. There's a uh, Gurkha Seduction, Gurkha Royal Challenge. I really like both of those cigars. Very good. Highly recommended. There's an Aging Room um, that was rated 94. Uh, let's see. Here's the second sheet. And these I'm going front and back. Uh, this one, I have some on the back with no notes whatsoever. The reason is all of these labels or all these cigars on the back were actually smoked by my wife before I ever met her. Um, and, you know, just whatever, you know. So I just had the labels, so I figured I'd put them on there. Um, anyway, now with my extra labels, I'm actually saving them so that I can do a project like a, a cigar label table or something like that. Anyway... Let's see what we got there. Ooh, we got the Drew Estate Java 5. That one is probably my favorite cigar. Um, I know it's an infused cigar, but still, it's it's my favorite. I'll buy boxes of that all day long. Um, let's see. 
This one, surprisingly, Cuban Rounds, Taste of Havana. This one, uh, if I remember right, is like a 2 or $3 stick. But it was really good. So if you guys see that, I recommend you trying it out. It sort of looks like a Cohiba band to it. That's what drew, drew me to it. And um, But yeah, it was really good. Nubs, obviously. Swag, that was a good one. Um, Cellar Reserve by Gurkha. Oh, this was another one. It actually, if you guys can see, I don't know if it says it on, no, it doesn't say it on there. Um, the CC stands for Counterfeit Cuban. So, that was good. I recommend it. Toro Fuente. That was a really good cigar. On the back, let's see here. What do we got? We got... There's some more, more. Oh, these were the two Cubans I actually smoked. I think, I, yeah, I have a separate video on those two. You guys can look at them. But uh, anyway, Cubans, Royal Barbados. I like those. You guys look those up from Barbados. This is made in the same factory, but it wasn't as good. This one was awesome. Um, Macanudos and so forth and so on. Thunder. Let's see, go to the next one. There you go. There's some. Oh, Nat Sherman Timeless. That was pretty good. Let's see what's on the back here. Ah, Liga Privada. Oh, yeah. T52. That is my favorite non flavored or non infused cigar so far, hands down. The Liga Privada T52. Let's see, Liga Provada number nine, obviously, Cuba Cuba, Ghost, CEO America, that was good. I had smoked that on July 4th last year. Highly recommend it. There's another number nine. So the, there's two number nines on here. This one was given to me by uh, a friend, and it was a uh, six-year-old aged cigar as of 2013. This one was a new one that I had bought. So um, I liked... As you can see from the rating, there's a four on the old, the aged one, and there's a five on the new one. So I like the newer one better. Don't know why, just did. CAO Gold, this one sucked. Um, as you see, I gave it a one. Uh, I actually got, I think I smoked it for about five minutes, or tried to for about five minutes, and it was done. Um, I need to try it again, but uh, that one was just, it was terrible. Um, CAO, that's that hurricane one. I don't, I don't, I didn't write any notes on it, but it was good. Um, oh, these guys, I got one of these from JR Cigars. Counterfeit, you guys see Republic of Cuba, counterfeit. This was actually really good. I was really surprised with this, and they're cheap, they're not expensive cigars. So, you guys check those out, I highly recommend it. Um, Oh, this one. This is uh, Gurkha Shaggy with the Maduro wrapper. Um, I have another Shaggy with the uh, Connecticut wrapper I have not tried yet, but this one was really good, so highly recommend that. See down there it says, let's see, Estate Selection. So, anyway, and then on the back, these are the most recent ones that I've smoked. You got a Monte Cristo, good. It was, you know, nothing special, just light. Like it says, light, airy, buttery. Um, a Gurkha Beast is too pepper spicy for me. This one, this G3, sucked. Um, I almost gave it a one, but uh, it was constructed well. It was a well-done cigar. It just wasn't for me. It was bitter, harsh, as you see, dry. Not good at all. It sucked. We didn't even finish it. We tossed it into the fire pit. Um, this one I was actually excited about and it just wasn't my taste. So as you see, it says a three, which means I would smoke it again, but I'm not going to spend money on it again. Smelt buttery. So coming out, you know, without pre-light was uh, very buttery and smooth and then it smoked better. So, um, and then this was the last one I just had last night, Foundry. So this was the foundry with the uh, gear. From what I know, they've discontinued these now. There's one cigar shop in my area that still has some. So I, uh, I picked one up because I hadn't smoked one yet. And uh, I enjoyed it. I gave it a four. Um, I would buy one again. 
uh, you know, a little bit of a novelty with the gear and all that, but uh, it was smooth. It was a pretty simple cigar. It, there was nothing special, not a lot of flavor shifting or anything like that, um, but it was, a, uh, it was a good cigar. I would buy it again. So, yeah, so anyway, so that's just an update on uh, all the all the different, uh, you know, cigars that I've smoked, and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, or if you see one on here that I've done a review on, or I say a review, you know, that I've rated, so to speak, uh, you know, and you want to comment about it, hey, put it down there in the comment section, I'd love to, uh, love to hear from you. Until next time, you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.